In this video, I'll show you how to add a grainy effect to black and white photos. I'm using Affinity Photo 2.2.1. Adding a grainy effect to your black and white photos is a great way to alter mood and atmosphere. It can be done simply by adding noise. I'll start by adding an Add Noise Live Filter layer. I'll move its layer out on top of the image layer just so I can access it more easily later on. You don't have to do this step. So here in the Add Noise dialog we have an Intensity slider, Noise Type menu, and a Monochromatic checkbox. Intensity is simply the strength of the noise. I'll move it to the right. That's looking good right about there. There are two types of noise to choose from, Uniform and Gaussian. Gaussian looks more realistic to my eye, so I'll use that. You can use Uniform if you like. Monochromatic should be checked for black and white photos. If you uncheck it, the noise will consist of colored dots, which doesn't look very good. I'll zoom in to demonstrate. Holding down the Command key, Control key in Windows, I'll tap the plus sign key to zoom in. If I uncheck monochromatic, the noise becomes multicolored. I don't think that looks good, but again, if it works for your image, go ahead and use it. I'll recheck it. I'll press Command-0, Control-0 in Windows to zoom back out to the default view. To further refine the grainy effect, you can adjust the opacity of the Add Noise layer. I'll leave it at 100%. I can always come back later and adjust it. You can also change the blend mode. Some of these look really good, but I'll leave it at normal. Now, if this meets your requirements, you can stop right here. But I like to add a second layer of noise. To do that, I'll first add a pixel layer by clicking the Add Pixel Layer icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. From the Filters menu, I'll select Noise, and then Perlin Noise. There are three sliders here. Moving the octave slider to the left gives the noise more texture, and moving it to the right softens it a little. I'll leave it at about 8 pixels. The zoom slider allows you to set the size of the grain if you will. Moving it to the right increases the grain size, and moving it to the left reduces it. I want a small grain size, so I'll set it to about 3 pixels or so. The persistence slider allows you to adjust the grittiness of the noise. Moving it to the right makes it less gritty, and moving it to the left does the opposite. I'm looking for something less gritty, so I'll move the slider to the right. I think around 79 or 80 pixels looks good. Unfortunately, this filter can't be adjusted once it's applied, so if you don't like the way it looks, you'll have to delete the pixel layer and start over again with a new one. I'll go ahead and click Apply. The image is completely gray, but I'll fix that by trying out different blend modes to see if I can find something that looks good. The Add Blend Mode looks kind of cool. I'll lower the layer's opacity to reduce its intensity. About 11% looks really good. I'll try adjusting the opacity of the Add Noise Filter layer. I'll select it first by clicking on it with the mouse. About 80% or so looks great. I'll turn the noise layers off and on. 
Holding down the Shift key, I'll select both layers. A different mood altogether. So that's an easy way to add graininess to your black and white photos to alter mood and atmosphere. Thank you for watching.